Hey everyone, and welcome to another pouring video. And today's video is another one of those uh, mini little flip cups on a black negative space. Except that I kind of wanted to minimize um, the amount of color that I was putting on my canvas today. So I only did one of the little mini cups uh, full of paint, and the other two were kind of just half full. And I wasn't even sure if I was going to use them um, while I was filling them up. They were just kind of a backup in case if I needed to uh, supplement my painting a little bit. Which it turned out I needed to do because uh, I wasn't really happy with uh, one of the blobs when I lifted up the big cup. Um, there, I actually, speaking of blobs, I had a blob of paint in my one of my cups so I had to scoop it out. Um, so this particular color combination is one of my favorites. I kind of wish that I had put more red paint in there. Um, and by the end of the video, the red kind of just disappears and uh, it's actually more uh, pink than anything else. I had uh, surrounded the red in a whole bunch of white and uh, kind of just diluted my red too much. Um, also, you can see all those weird little bumps on my black negative space. Um, I had mixed up that black paint in a old cup that I had washed out and reused, but I guess I didn't wash it out well enough, and I think that there might have been still uh, silicone in the cup. So I was getting those weird little bumps, um, and it kind of just remains to be seen whether or not this dries okay or not, because I've never really uh, had the the black negative space uh, full of silicone. I mean, I suppose it'll be fine. I mean, people do uh, dirty flip cups all the time uh, with silicone on the background. Anyways, you can see that like when I lifted up the cup, I did uh, like a weird uh, lump at the end there so I added my two little half cups and swirled it around a whole bunch. I think that uh, when I'm like moving my cups around so much it, is, it ceases to be like a flip and drag and more of a flip and swipe with the cups. So I guess I'm cheating a little bit when I say flip and drag because there's definitely a whole bunch of swiping that happened this time around. And I brought out my thread again. I'm really digging this thread action uh, to create my wisps. Um, it's just so much easier to use the thread than uh, using the black or the black, the skewer thing. Um, it, it just makes my lines a whole a bunch more uh, smooth and uh, natural looking by using the thread. So. I'm quite pleased that I've decided to use that for my wisp things. I didn't really have a shape in mind today. It was more just um, trying to make my paintings more of a negative space type painting rather than anything else. Um, and I also discovered <laughs> that uh, I have I put my canvas on uneven cups, so that's why my whole painting was kind of tilting to one side. So very important to make sure that your the cups that you have your your canvas on are level, because otherwise it kind of uh, runs off in a direction that you might not necessarily want it to. Anyways, that's about it. Here's my little close up of my cells. Um, you can see that there's not as much variation today. I didn't go with as many colors and I didn't layer it quite as much. So interesting to see the difference there. But I was going for simplicity, so I'm okay with how this painting turned out. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching my video. Have a great day. Bye.